Injection Molding 101 Types of Injection Molds From toys to packaging and consumer products, injection molds are applicable in manufacturing various plastic components. However, you must use the right injection mold for a project to get maximum benefits. Injection Mold, or Injection Mold Tooling, refers to the specific capital assets used for producing plastic components, primarily crafted from specified grades of steel and aluminum. The mold core and mold cavity constitute two pivotal components within injection molds. These two halves of the mold unite, allowing molten plastic to be injected into the tool. Once the molten plastic solidifies, the mold's two halves separate, facilitating the ejection of the finalized part. To manufacture a mold, you need to first understand the mold design and determine the most suitable material. Typically, CNC machining and electrical discharge machining are two common methods applied in the manufacturing of injection molds. While considering different feeding systems, number of cavities, and mold plate configurations, injection molds can be categorized into different types. Let's now explore them. The first class we will look at is that according to feeding system. Injection molds may come with either hot runner or cold runner systems. The hot runner injection mold has a manifold element that heats the runner. This manifold element can either be inside or outside the mold. As a result, the molten plastic maintains its temperature as it fills the mold cavity. Because of the consistency in the supply of heat, the material cools rapidly and evenly. Furthermore, there is an increase in the overall part quality and reduces the cycle time. However, one may incur some shortcomings when using hot runner injection molds. A common disadvantage is that this type of mold is not suitable for some thermosensitive plastic materials. Using a hot runner injection mold for this type of material may lead to warpage or thermal degradation. The cold runner injection mold is different. It uses unheated runners that are of the same temperature as the mold. Hence, cold runner injection molds can work heat-sensitive materials. However, this type of mold increases machining time and generates a significant amount of waste. You can also classify injection molds based on the number of cavities. It can come as single cavity, multi-cavity, or family injection molds. As the name implies, the single cavity injection mold has one cavity. Hence, it produces one part at a time. Their small size makes them easy to manufacture. Single cavity injection molds are ideal for prototyping and low volume production. When the number of parts to be manufactured increases, multi-cavity molds come in. Multi-cavity molds produce several identical parts in a single cycle. It has many cavities that get filled up simultaneously. As a result, it is preferred for large volume production. However, it is more expensive to manufacture a multi-cavity mold. This high initial investment can be attributed to the larger amount of material, time, and energy put into production. The third type in this class is the family mold cavity. It is a subtype of multi-cavity mold with added benefits. A family mold cavity is used to manufacture two or more parts that may or may not be identical. A popular application of family cavities is the manufacturing of packaging components, such as lids and containers. Of all the three types, the family mold cavity is the most expensive to set up and operate. Finally, you can also classify injection molds based on the mold plate. It can be two plates, three plates, or stack injection mold. The plate injection mold has a single parting line located at the point where the mold separates. It is suitable for parts with simple designs. You can use a two-plate injection mold with any of the runner systems we have previously explained. However, in terms of cavity numbers, experts recommend using it with a single cavity. A three-plate mold comes in three different sections and two parting lines. The first line is for the runner system, while the other is for the molded part. Because of this feature, machinists can degate automatically. Hence, the final parts have a high degree of accuracy and excellent surface finish. The last type is the stack injection mold. As the name implies, it is made up of several interconnected molds stacked in the same direction. Stack injection molds significantly boost productivity. It has many cores and cavity layers 
and manufactures many copies of a part at once. Stack injection molds come with a high initial investment. It may be expensive to design and assemble. Hence, it is not advisable to use stack injection molds for low production runs. We've covered different types of molds, but how do you choose the right one? There isn't a standard approach to go about this. It's crucial to take into account the material you're using, the production volume, and, notably, your budget. Rapid Direct provides professional technical support for your injection molding projects. Feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel.